Hi, everybody. Welcome to Northwest Food, Brew & Wine. I'm your host, Mike Gonzalez. First up on the show, we visit CG Public House. It's one of the most well-known restaurants in all of eastern Washington. Not only have they established themselves as a go-to place to eat, but they've got a catering business that is awesome. They can accommodate thousands of people at a time. Last year, they decided to change their name from Country Gentleman to CG Public House. I had a chance to find out why and see what that means for customers. iconic restaurant and event center in Kennewick may have a new name, but the taste is better than ever. In January of last year we closed and we reopened on the 20th as CG Public House and we changed, for the first time, we changed our logo, we changed our menu, we changed our uniforms, we changed the appearance of the restaurant and today it's CG Public House and it's the change has been wonderful, very well received. One other big change is her son Kyle Simmons, who's now running the day-to-day -day operations for the restaurant and catering side of things. Kyle's always had a passion for the restaurant business, and four years ago he came on board as a partner. He's been a huge part in the success of Country Gentlemen and also the rebranding to CG Public House. You know, there's been a transition which was which was largely your vision yeah. going from Country Gentleman to CG Public House yeah. and you know and and that's a huge risk in a sense and one that you guys were willing to take on um, yeah. what is it about that risk that you said you know what we just we got to do it um, I've been preaching for a name change for a long time um, I've only been back for three years uh, before that I was with uh, Red Lobster as a manager um, and then before that I was at school over at WSU um, I graduated the bachelor's in hospitality. So, uh, you know, once I once I left Red Lobster and I came back on, um, there was a lot of talk about, you know, we need to change the name. Uh, you know, people that grew up in the area knew knew country gentlemen. They knew what country gentlemen was. They knew what to expect from country gentlemen. Um, but we're not the same area that we were 10 years ago. Uh, the Tri-Cities has grown tremendously, as you know. Uh, people moving into the area, people st would still confuse us with Old Country Buffet. Right. Um, they would mistake us for a gentleman's club. We'd get phone calls all the time about that. Um, and so finally, you know, I just, I guess I won the battle. I just said, you know, we really need to change the name. We really, you know, especially for people moving into the area. And those changes are apparent when you step in the door. Take a look. How are you guys doing today? Good, yeah. You're greeted with a warm atmosphere, comfortable seating, and a brand new bar area called Beer Falls that stokes a lot of nostalgia. We are right across the street from Beer Falls, um, where Beer Falls, um, you know, if you grew up in the area, um, my dad, uh, he remembers going out to Beer Falls, uh, and he's in his 60s now. Um, I, I graduated in 2005 from Kamaika, and Beer Falls was kind of ending, you know. Yeah. The sheriff's got <laughs> the sheriff's got some ATVs. So you're saying that you resurrected Beer Falls right here? I yes. love it. <laughs> yeah. So um, when we were building the bar, I I wasn't working here at the time, but I came in for lunch and we were talking about what they wanted to name the bar, and it just came to my mind, and I just said Beer Falls. Customers like Jill and Dave Deshane say the name Beer Falls instantly brought back some great memories. The first thought about me and this place right here is when I came out here and ate some breakfast one time. And we happened to be sitting out here in a booth and I looked up and I seen this beer crawl sign. Brought back nothing but some old teenage memories. The best part about the bar here, Beer Falls, is that I was born and raised here. And so the Beer Falls Incorporated with this new bar makes me feel at home. And Beer Falls packs some of the best craft beers in the Northwest. Well, let's talk about the craft beers that okay. you have on tap. You know, we're going with local, um, you try to say Eastern and Central Washington, so, and Oregon. Uh, we've only got one Oregon brew right now, which is the uh, Ordnance out of Boardman. Uh, we've obviously got Ice Harbor. We always keep the red ale on from Ice Harbor. Uh, we've got Ten Pin from out of uh, Moses Lake right now. Uh, Ordnance out of Boardman. Uh, we've got Dee's Wicked Cider. Uh, Dee's is just right behind us. Uh, so we wanted to make sure we represented them because they're probably the closest yeah. 
uh, to us, Bail Breaker uh, Top Cutter IPA. Nice. Have to have that, that's a staple. Oh, yeah. Uh, obviously, you have to have Coors Light. That's the only one that we just feel like we have to have for, yeah. those, for those guests that don't drink micro yeah. um, brews. So we try to give one tap to a, uh, a brewery and I try to rotate their beers yeah. on that one tap. Two years ago, CG Public House started making their own sweet and sour mix, and they make some great margaritas. They're all made from scratch, and I can tell you firsthand, man, they were good. This is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Can you still see that rub on there? Uh, all right, speaking of good, take a look at these babies. Kyle took me through how he puts together some of CG Public House's award-winning barbecue ribs and pulled pork sandwich. You can find these on the dinner menu or anytime that you order catering. My mouth is watering. Where are we gonna start with these? Uh, we're going to um, start by taking the membrane off the back of the rib. Um, have you ever had a really tough rib that doesn't come off the bone? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really frustrating. It's because that really thin membrane <laughs> has not been pulled off. And then we'll put it in the brine, All right. and then we'll go from there. All right, sounds good. Kyle starts out by taking a sharp knife underneath the bone, taking out that membrane. Now the key is finding that end bone. You can use a paper towel to grasp it well, then pull the membranes out. Next, it's time to brine. Kyle's beautiful brine includes water, sugar, salt, a pepper medley, then Kyle soaks the ribs in the brine for about two hours. And remember, you don't want that meat to get too salty. The rub ingredients include granulated sugar, brown sugar, chili powder, paprika, mustard seed. Kyle mixes it all up, then adds the granulated onions and cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. Now, once that meat is rubbed, it's put into a four inch pan, then sent to the smoker for three hours, then it's put three more hours in the oven. Man, that looks good. Kyle, good thing I came hungry. I saved some room for these ribs, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I don't even know where to start. I'm just, you know what, I'm just, going, right I'm just going in with the fingers. Yeah. This is, you know, oh my God. This is heaven. If that's not enough, it's time to go for CG Public House's better than ever homemade biscuits and gravy. Kyle took me through the process of how he makes those from scratch. He starts out with some country ground sausage and there's plenty of butter and flour as well. You add some warm milk, then add a little more cooked sausage. Then it's time to add the Cajun pepper, sage and salt and pepper as well. Try these biscuits and gravy. Wow. <laughs> it's a little delay there because I was like taking it all in. <laughs> now that I've gotten full taste of CG Public House, it's easy to see why this family run business has been such an iconic part of the Tri Cities landscape. Well, I like the family atmosphere for sure. Um, we also had some catering done in the past, um, and they do a really great job with that. The food is always hot and the service is great, so, and I don't work for them. <laughs> now working with um, your, your family, I mean, that, that, that's always great. Do you guys ever get into it a little bit about <laughs> philosophy? Or... <laughs> uh, me and my mom have uh, really heated discussions sometimes about things. Uh, you know, we always, you know, it's always a healthy debate. Yeah. Uh, because we don't all see eye to eye right. um, on everything. Uh, my dad kind of stays out of it. <laughs> um, so whatever, he obviously has an opinion, but he always doesn't voice it. Yeah. Uh, me and my mom are a little bit more vocal about our our opinions, and uh, but I think that's why you know we're so successful. You know, we're very proud of that being able to let this business go to another generation. Yeah because the alternative would have just been to sell, you know, when right. Steve and I were ready to retire. And not doing that, I think people are like, wow, you know, yeah. we're gonna have yet, you know, this will be fourth generation. All right, I wanna thank Kyle and Shirley for being such gracious hosts. Man, it was awesome there. The food and drinks 
are just amazing at CG Public House. And remember, they have an awesome catering business that's considered the best in the Tri-City. So if you got a corporate event, wedding, whatever, a party, they are the go-to catering company. For more information, we'll put this on our Facebook page. Just search Northwest Food, Brew, and Wine. You can also hit up yaktrinews.com, search our feature section. You can find it there as well.